So we're getting about 160 plus watts out of two panels right now, connected in series. Um, had the ACO power, or ACO power, however you pronounce it. Um, it's a 5 BB solar panel, and I've had it for a few weeks now. And then I just got this one, the Bouge RV 9 BB panel, both 100 watts, and I connected them both in, par in uh, series, not parallel, series. And I'm getting about 160 plus watt input from the sun. Thank you, hey folks. This is the info I used for determining whether I was going to do a parallel or a series connection for my two solar panels, um, both 100 watts but different makes to my EcoFlow Delta. First, you look at the specs. So you look at your inputs and the solar charger. So it'll handle up to 11, between 11 and 75 volts, um, 10 amp max, and 300 watt max. And then I pull up the specs on the first one, the Bouge RV, my user manual. <clears throat> I see the specs and I check the, bo the box that I think I should be using for the voltage. Um, this panel is rated 21.4 volts and the amps is 5.51 amps. Max power current. Then I took the specs from my ACO power sheet <clears throat> and the uh, Voltage is 22 volts, and the amps is 5.71. So I wrote that. I've got my 300 watt amp max, 11 point between 11 and 75 volt, and 10 amp max on the solar input. And then I got the specs that I believe I should be using for the ACO power and the Bouge RV. They're both 100 watt panels. Um, their voltage is slightly different off. One's 22 volts, the other one's 21.4. And the amps is 5.71 amps from the spec sheet and 5.51. And then my understanding is if you connect them in series, um, of course you double your your capable wattage, <clears throat> which is the goal. But when you do it in series, your volts, you add your volts up. So it's 43.4. I know most videos I've found out there, they're using the same panel and specs. So they are saying that it doubles or triples or whatever, but I'm using slightly different specs. So when I add the volts, it comes to 43.4 volts, which is still within the threshold of 11, between 11 and 75 volts. And the amps, um, they say it stays the same, but if I've got two different amps, I'm not sure if it just takes the lowest number or what, but I just average it out. And so if it's average, it's 5.61 amps. However, in parallel, if I get a special cable to hook up the positive, positive, negative, negative, um, the volts would stay the same, which since they're different, I averaged it out. Um, so I don't know if that's correct or not. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that. And then the amps, I added up 5.71 to 5.51, which equals 11.2. And I put X there because it would go over the 10 amp max. That, so that means I don't want to connect these in parallel because it might uh, trip the circuit on my input for my Delta Mini. But I connect them in series, and it's working on my pre earlier and showing about, I'm collecting about 160 plus watts. I just wanted to double up my power, and I'm thinking about getting a third panel. If I find one on a good deal on Amazon, I'll get it.